Okay, getting ready for star. We're on TK A point six A, which is domain and range of quadratics. You remember that domain is X and range is Y. We remember that the G and the Y look like each other, so that's how range is Y. This first question is asking us for range. That's our Y, and it gives us the equation of the function. We're going to grab our calculator and open up a graph and type it in negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. When we hit enter it gives us the graph. Uh, you remember that if you don't see anything in the window you might try menu window zoom and zooming out because perhaps it wasn't in the view screen and if the graph is hard for you to see exactly where the vertex is you could go menu view grid blind grid and that might make it easier to see all right i'm going to go ahead and sketch that one two three four and our parabola was facing downwards since we are talking about range which is why we're only talking about the things going in the vertical direction we don't care about left or right the y values that were used the highest the maximum y value was four and we're using everything below four so the way we would say that language would be y is less than and since it can be equal to it's going all the way up to four less than or equal to four the answer would be c even if you didn't know uh, the graphing of it or you couldn't get that figured out you should still at a minimum know range is y so these two answers are silly and have a 50 50 chance move on to the next question it asks us about the domain we know that that is our x this graph is going up and to the right this arrow and this arrow on the other side is going up and to the left since we only care about domain which is going left and right we see that we're using everything in both of these directions we're using all our x values to the left all our x values to the right there's no x value that is not used so the answer is g all real numbers and we remember for algebra one domain for quadratics is going to be all real numbers just as it is for exponentials next question we see again we're asking for domain this is another one where they don't give us a picture of it but based on what i just said you should remember that since domain we see it is a quadratic it's got an x squared so we know it's going to be a parabola the answer should be g all real numbers but we could go ahead and graph it, pull up our calculator. We can get another graph. We can graph 9 minus x squared, enter. We see the parabola. We see some of it, but we really need to see the top of it. So we could click and hold on the screen and then move it down in order to see exactly how tall it is or we could always do menu zoom and then zoom out that is rather drastic it'll zoom out quite a bit but we can use either of those tools I'm gonna to go back to menu zoom put it back where it was for standard and then just slide it up so how far up was it well we don't even care what the maximum was that would only be for range if we were trying to do that for domain we see as we suspected the parabola goes left and right uh, forever so the answer is all real numbers next question which graph best represents a function with a range we're talking about range y of all real numbers greater than or equal to six so y is greater than or equal to six we're looking for all the numbers above that for answer choice a you can see that the star is trying to trick you it's got a six here but this is on the x-axis we're talking about range the range values for this one is from zero and up everything greater than zero that is not our answer 
We can also see the same thing on D. They've got a 6 there again. And obviously it's negative 6. I didn't write the negative there. We see the negative 6 there. And it's on the x-axis. So this one is y is less than 0. Because we're using all the numbers from 0 and up. So D is out. So it's going to be between B and C. This is indeed negative 6 on our y-axis, but it's using all the numbers less than, below than. So this would be y is less than or equal to negative 6. That is not what we're looking for. This one said greater than, so it's not b. It has to be c. Here's negative 6. We are indeed using all the numbers greater than negative 6. Next question. This one, we're not given an equation, so students can't graph it. We're not given a picture, so students can't visualize it. So it tricks up some students, but it really shouldn't. When you're given a table, you can make a graph. First, we see that it is talking about range, so we're looking at these. We're told it's a quadratic function, so students who are good at visualizing in their brain know that a quadratic would look like a parabola, either going up or going down. And since we're talking about range, we're looking here. So you could look at these numbers and see, visualize what the parabola would be doing. But we can go ahead and draw a quick graph of it. Negative 4, 41. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then way up here, way up, we've got a dot. Next would be negative 2, 17. Negative 2, up 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Negative 2, 17. 0, 1, 2, negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3, negative 8. 4, negative 7. And there we see it's starting to turn back around. 6, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. And so we see the nice parabola. That's a bad line. A nice parabola if we can. It's better. Still terrible. Too much like a V. Uh, so what would the range be? The range, we're looking at our y-axis, everything above y is greater than or equal to negative 8. All real numbers greater than or equal to negative 8. H is the answer. Here we're asked to find a domain, which is our x. All real numbers greater than or equal to negative 7 and less than 2. So if it's greater than negative 7, we look over here, that's at negative 2, we want to have negative 7, it's not A. Here, we're at negative 4, that's not where we want to be. Here, we're at negative 3. Here's negative 7, so it's everything greater than negative 7 and less than 2, so we're going this way. This is a closed circle, so that's why it's greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to, so it's a closed circle. And this one was just less than, so that's why it's an open circle. D is the answer. That is domain and range for quadratic functions. Good luck.